Hey friends, happy Wednesday. Oh, as you can tell, the sun is shining beautiful. It is 60 degrees out. I'm out in the sunroom with Miss Callie. We have rearranged the sunroom. I brought in, um, took out the one recliner and brought in another, the other recliner. I like this much better. Mr. Jerry's hardly ever out here. And this is the spot here because he likes it by the window. He very seldom sits out here anymore. But I told him that I would move when he would want to come out. But anyways, I just wanted to show you. I've been knitting on my... Just a second. Okay, Mr. Jerry is running into town. He had to stop to let me know. But anyways, it's a beautiful sunny day. And I've been working on, as I was starting to say, my merry-go-round. It's it's growing, and it should because this is worsted weight. And I have to go, I think, almost 11 inches from the underarm down. So I've been working on that, getting into the pretty springy colors. That's why I like this one because this just looks so springy. Then um, in the mail, I got my, I belong to... Um, Oh, Cotton Cuts um, Block of the Month. It's for 10 months. I got Clue 3. I have to do Clue 2 yet, but it comes all pre-cut right here. It is a mystery one. And then it shows you how to do that. So I got that. And then I said I wasn't going to get any more <laughs> sock yarn. And well, you know, that's like saying I'm never going to eat another cheeseburger or chocolate or something. So, um, a piece of you, the up north um, uh, uh, in Saginaw, she always has these uh, days, like on Tuesdays, she has a selling, and then on Saturdays, sometimes Fridays. So anyway, she always gets knitted wet, and I had to get this. Look at this. This is just a beautiful, just simply beautiful. So this definitely reminded me of flowers, and I think that's what it's called. It's called Among the Flowers. So this one is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 420 yards. But look at the corally colors. This one is so pretty. I said to Mr. Jerry, I said, this one almost looks like it should go into a shawl. What do y'all think? And not just socks. Because I can pull out different, I can try to find, I got in this or pinks or, y'all, I can take this to my local yarn shop and try to find others. But anyway, so that came in. So, and then I got bread going. You, um, I never know. I always say I'm going to do this first, and then I, ugh, piece of hair. Um, and then I end up showing you this afterwards. So, um, I am making bread. I was recording it um, and got to the point where I was going to record, you know, so you could see how it looked doubled and how I put it in the loaf pan. But Mr. Jerry had a friend who called he hasn't seen since last summer and he stopped over um, an older gentleman and they've been visiting in our um, front family room for the last half hour 20 minutes half hour so and it was time for me to do that so right now it's in its rising phase of 45 minutes so I will record um, what it looks like before it goes in the oven. And of course, I will record once it comes out and stuff like that. But, And I'm already this morning been thinking about canning. We're going to invest in um, an electric canner. Um, we're going to go with, I think, Presto. So because I froze green beans and corn last year, and Mr. Jerry does not like the taste of the fresh green beans frozen. 
even after you cook them for 25 to 30 minutes he still doesn't like the taste so um even putting butter and all that stuff in it so um, my friend Shar said that her daughter's the same way and she says once you pressure can them it will make it taste like store-bought so so we're looking into that and um I've got some strawberries that I did last year that I need to unthaw. I think I'm going to make strawberry uh, jam out of what is left in there. And um, my goal this year, hopefully, is I want to do strawberry jam. I want to make grape jelly. And I want to make grape juice along with the cranberry juice. And then, of course, I'm going to do the applesauce and... Um, I think I'll do uh, apple butter, apple pie filling. Someone did a pecan pie filling. I might look that up. Um, but uh, corn and carrots and green beans, those are our major things. Um, I don't, I, off the top of my head. So that just means that I have to um, now start to think about buying um, lids because I do have jars. Um, I don't have enough jars for the jellies and stuff, so I will have to invest in um, some jars like that. But I, I also keep my eyes open because people are always selling jars. So, um, but I'm also going to get a notebook and I'm going to um, label it and it will be my canning <laughs> thing so that I um, can remember how I do this. So every year I can just flip to it and stuff. But, um, yeah, who would have thought that this gal right here, at six, going to be 66 in June, would be into the canning and the all that stuff. But, you know makes me feel really good to know that I am doing good things for us. Mr. Jerry likes the this a sandwich bread and like I said before it's an extra point for me but nutritional wise I feel like because I know what's in it. I mean I can look at the breads and I know that they last a while because they're preserved and stuff but you know if you can't make homemade bread, you buy the, the, the good stuff, just like we we always did. But um, I just felt like when he said, you know, well, I'll stop buying that bread if you're going to make this bread. So once a week I make this bread, and it doesn't take long at all. I mean, everything's done in the, hand, the stand mixer, and within... 10 minutes time it's in the it's rising and it's only an hour to rise and then um, it shapes really easy into the loaf pan and then 45 minutes and then you bake it for 30 so really it's it's not that difficult for me to to do so but we had a great day yesterday and um, a lot of riding in a car um, five hours worth round trip and everything but it was a good time and what I noticed yesterday and it surprised me was that um, I usually don't talk to strangers very often mr. Jerry can I, I, I usually don't I mean I'm if, if they say something to me I can talk to them but um, there's something about yarny people and um, quilty people and crafty people. Um, you could be like yesterday in all these yarn stores. You're not the only one looking and everybody's looking at stuff. And then they, you know, will comment, oh, isn't this pretty? And you comment back and you're just like, it's just, it was so much fun, you know. And I'm glad that I was able to be part of that. And, um, you know, that's something I miss. I, I, I do miss that. Um, I, I hardly ever leave the house. And um, 
for Mr. Jerry just to be willing to drive me to these places. You know, yeah, my head wasn't good yesterday. Uh, um, tree pollen starting to come out, and but I I was okay in the car. But when you went to stand up and start to walk, you gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> it did finally um, feel a lot better after 3 o'clock. So wherever I was at, I don't know. But <laughs> I'll tell you, it was touch and go for a while. So, and then that was just so much fun. And I just feel like there was uh, was this big community, just like in, in my weight loss journey. There's this big community of people like you and me that can sit here and we can relate and we can continue to support each other um, through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because we all go through it, don't we? So you never know what your day is going to bring. Um, you might be with family and go out, let's say, like us yesterday and <laughs> go looking at fabric or at um, yarn or maybe you get a call like Mr. Jerry did that, hey, a friend's in town and let's go do something. Let's go out to eat or whatever. Um, and then, you know, you have to either decide, are you going to go in that panic mode and go, oh, no, now what? Or are you going to sit there and go, hey, I get to spend time with my friend. Or I get to spend time with my family. Or I get to spend time with my spouse or maybe it's just you and you get to spend time with yourself but you're out in the public so um, there's a lot of learning in this journey and I am just so glad that I have friends like you who are encouraging me and I'm trying to encourage you and man I wish that we could just have this place that we could all meet, that we could sit there and we could chit chat in person to each other and y'all that'd be so much fun, so much fun. But in the meantime, <laughs> this will have to do for me anyway. So, um, but uh, I am going to tell you, Mr. Jerry j did, he just invited, he just invited, he said to me, because he's going to run into town, he's going to get his hair cut. He's been waiting for a streak of warm weather. He does this. And now this nice stretch of weather gives him the itch to be outside and to do and stuff. And if you are a gardener, you understand, you know, or if you just like being sitting outside um, to enjoy the weather. So he'll go try to get his hair cut. And um, he's going to go and get some quotes on our car insurance because within the last couple of years it's doubled in price and then he said when I come back he says do you want to go out to Mexican which is our Mexican connection our favorite place y'all I'm not turning the man down because he doesn't ask to go out very often and um and I enjoy time with my hubby and um so I'll just count it I'll just count it doesn't mean I need to throw the rest of the day away, so, but, anyways, I'm going to let you go. I know I still have to show you all the yarn, so this one might be a long one. Um, I will try to do that as soon as I get the bread in the oven. Um, I'll go set it up so that you can see that next, but breakfast was my um, three-point smoothie, and... The timer's going off for the bread to go in the oven. So, just a second. All right, so it's got to raise a little bit more. Um, today, for some reason, it's not rise, rising like it should. Um, but you have days that it does that. But it's not even over the top, so I'm going to give it a little bit longer to rise up. So, um, I will get set up for the yard. And then I will be right back. All right, welcome back. <laughs> so yesterday was the second leg of the West Michigan Yarn Quest. And um, we were gone five hours easily. 
Um, we left in the morning at 10 o'clock and we got home five o'clock, something like that. So it might have been even longer than that. But um, our first stop was to Rockford. That was to J uh, JT Stitcheries um, and Yarn and Crafts. And it was a cute little place. Rockford is a sweet little town. And um, I wish I lived closer. <laughs> but it was really nice. Now, um, on the on this yarn quest, um, everybody had a um, had a postcard. Basically, you had to get uh, their stamp put on it, and there was drawings, daily drawings, and then there is a grand prize drawing, and then there I think is five runner-up prizes. If you went to all seven, then you went into the grand prize. Um, there was drawings for if you went to five out of the seven. So, Mr. Jerry just likes to go, and so we went to all seven, <laughs> which is wonderful, because I took about 350-ish, um, dollars, and I basically spent the majority of it, so, but that's all right, that's all right. So at um, a JT a Stitchery, the free pattern, you also got 15% off their yarns. Um, and you also um, got a free pattern, uh, your choice, a crochet or um, knit. Um, they had a knitted shrug, long sleeve shrug, or they had a crocheted hat. Um, I'm not into shrugs and not into hats, but I did pick up the the shrug right here. It's in red. It is a knitted one, so I did get that one. And um, like I said, it's a free pattern right there. So we walked into that store, and she has a llama farm also. So you see all types of llama stuff all over the place. Um and beautiful, beautiful yarns with alpaca and all that stuff, yak and all that stuff in it. She also had plucky knitter and she also had the the standard Barocco and all that stuff. Um, and she had an upstairs. I didn't go up there. There was no need to because I found something right when I first walked in. Beautiful display of everything. The owner was there and then her... Um, uh, assistant that was there and both lovely people as soon as you walked in the door they're right there to greet you and tell you right where everything is and I can't say anything wrong with them so I'll have I, I will reinsert a picture of her store as I'm talking and I'll reinsert and I will insert pictures of the patterns that I've, I've got to purchase off from off from Ravelry um but I'm not going to buy them until I'm ready to, to do it. But this one was a crochet top. It was um, gorgeous. Now, um, you could use a self-striping yarn on this one. And the picture is going to show that it is very form-fitting and that um, it's kind of short. Um, they said to me, because I like them a little bit longer, you know, just go a little bit longer. You know, you, there's two separate pieces. So you have a back and a front, and then you seam it up at the shoulders here and under the arm down. Crochet, I have no problem doing that. So, um, and the stitches didn't look that difficult. And the gal who was the assistant there, she actually made this, and she said that the, she made it for the shop for the owner, and it was four skeins, and for my size, it was five skeins. And um, she said she didn't use hardly any of that fourth skein, but she did use some of it because she knew the owner would like the backside a little bit longer because she likes her backside covered more. So, so let me show you what I ended up getting now. This yarn, I don't even know how to say it. I, I really don't. But this is the name. And I will, whoops, and I will flip the camera when I edit this, but this is the name of the yarns. This is this one's called Kalbuka, C-A-L-B-U-C-A, 
Um, and this is because this is tiny. I got to pull it away so you could so I can see. But look at the color in this one. So these are 84% uh, cotton and 16% polymade. Um, 100 grams and 3. Point, oh my lanta, 52 ounces or 411 yards or 373 meters. Um, so, look at this, isn't this pretty? So this one, they did, she did not do a self-striping yarn. She did um, four different colors. And so she pulled out, she had um, all the colors, but one that they didn't have. So the store owner came over and she picked this one out to go with it. So this will be one color right here. You see a little patch of green in there. So there's that color. And then the next color is, oh, I guess they're all Kabuka. I don't even know if there's a color on these. Hmm. Oh, let me open up the card. That might help. It says, Kalbuka is Blue Waters is a group of islands and volcanoes in southern Chile. The surrounding area is protected by, and I can't even pronounce that, National Reserve. The origin of the city was the Spanish fort Kalbuka, and I'm sure I'm not saying it right. Founded in 1603 and became um, later an important seafood market. Let's see what it says. So basically this is from Chile. So this is the next color. So you can see the difference in them. So this was the next that they... Um, had put into that one and like I said um, we'll see how this comes out if I like it I will um, try a self striping one so and then this was the next color oh, can you see that right there and the greens almost like a denim with that brown and then this was the last color right here with more of the blues and the darker browns. So basically, those are the colors that will be in that um, sweater, that summer knit. So the gal said what she did was she would wind it up and she would start one section with one color go to another section, do another color, and then go back and forth like that. So that was all from, from that, but I did get something that was not yarn related. I had to. When I saw this, I thought, oh, I love ink pens, and I love pens that are different. You ready? Look at this. So this is an ink pen. It's a little llama Look at the detail to that. Even has the purple on the back. A cute little tail. I'm sure this has been felted. And then you have the wrap around. Isn't that sweet? This is only $4. So um, it will be in the description along with all six other ones. I'm sure they have websites. You'll have to look this stuff up, but it does work just well. So, <laughs> so that right there was from Rockford. And then we went to, um, the next one we went to was, um, <laughs> was Nuego. And it was, because I don't have my card anymore, something you. I didn't get anything there. Um, did I get a free pattern there? I might have gotten a free pattern. I did. I did. 
That was the store that had half of the shop was yarn and the other half was quilting. Um, and their freebie were table runners, either a knitted or a crochet one. And this doesn't, I'll have the name across here. But this is called All Seasons Table Runner. And of course, it was done in Barocco Remix um, Chunky. And I took the crochet on this one. So this is what it looked like right here. She had the samples all done up. They were sweet. Both of them were really nice, but I'm trying to alternate between the knit and the crochet. So um, I do not have any chunky, but I don't know why I couldn't get any type of chunky to work. So um, I just can't believe I cannot remember the name of her yarn shop. So that was the second one. Um, she had a beautiful yarns there too. Uh, and she also had a beautiful quilt se selection on the right side. And um, Nuego, just like Rockford, is a beautiful little town, um, all brick buildings. But Nuego was also pretty hilly, so <laughs> which we didn't realize it was going to be. So then we left there, and then we went on to knit and knit and spin. I always want to say sit and spin. And when I said that last time, Mr. Jerry started laughing and he goes, well, he says that used to be a toy that we would set on and spin. And he says, I don't think the shop is called that, but yeah. So, um, knit and spin. And this was the one that was in Montague. And, um, that is the one I did get stuff there. I just remember that's the one I found my Tilly yarn. So um, this felt to me like we were way in the boondocks by the time you got to it. And Montague's not very big. And this was like um, a long pole barn construction with, I don't know, six or eight little shops in it. And um, when we walked in, it was gorgeous inside, and she had um, stuff for spinning wheels and um, fiber for you to spin. She had a section of that. Um, the majority of it was um, yarns, but um, she had a few trinkets here. She had needles here and stuff like that. So anyways, when we got in there and I saw the Tilly, and she had all the colors, the new colors, all of the colors. Um, and even the purple and I needed three for that and I will put that um, I think it's called Jenna the pattern back up it was done in the purple well I had to get the purple even though I got the the pink there is a crocheted wrap um, rectangle wrap I'm going to do with that one and it takes the three that I already got so this right here is called this one's called Faye. Color is Faye. Color 10915. This one again is 62% 62, 62 um, Pima cotton and 38% Cupro, C U P R O, made in Peru, 3.5 ounces um, or 100 grams and 375 yards or 343 meters. But look at the purples. This one is beautiful. Mr. Jerry even said, he goes, well, now I know why you needed that purple. Because it is pretty. So I do like that. So I did get three of those. But then they, they had one of those drawstring bags. This one, again, is that Emma Ball bag. But look at this. Here all you friends are. I had to get a bag that has us all on there. So where are you? <laughs> who was who? I would be the one sitting on the ground with the glasses, I'm sure. But look at this. This is so cute. And y'all are knitting with me. That might be Mr. Jerry. I doubt it. And then someone's carrying all of our yarn. Mr. Jerry doesn't knit, so. But then it has that um, fabric inside that looks like it's knitted and then you have your canvas drawstrings nice and heavy and then you have the carry um, if you want to just carry it so I did get that at 
knit and knit and spin. <laughs> so I did get that there. Then um, so we basically we're all done, and we just I have to drop my book off to somebody, and I wanted to drop it off to um, Henny's shop because she was my local one of my local yarn stores. And I also wanted to go back and get that yarn for the crochet one that she had that was her freebie, which was this one right here. And every place I went, nobody had this Juniper Moon in the, um, what is it called? It says uh, Zoe by Jun Juniper Moon, but it was in the faded or the stripes. And nobody had it in the stripes. They had it in the solid, and I wanted that variegation. And I knew that um, Henny had it. So we went back there, and I dropped off my book. And she had an orange. In my head, I was going to get the orange. And then she had a gray stripe, an orange stripe and a brown stripe and she had blue but then she also had I don't know where she didn't have this green when we were there you know when we first started this but she had a green I went with the green so this one is called Zoe stripes it is um, it is soft cotton linen blend, 60% cotton, 40% linen. It is a number two, which is a fine. And it is 3.52 ounces or 100 grams um, or 284 yards or 260 meters. So you can see right there. And... This is what it looks like right here. So maybe there's another one that shows. See, this is what drew me was this right here, how it's wound up with the different blues and the greens. So I did get all of those. This is what I would say, bust the bank, spend all my money because I'd get four of these. But remember, I got 15% off from everything except for the ink pen and the bag. All the yarns, you know, this one right here saved me $18. And um, the other gal was, I think, close to... I don't know, $12, something like that. I, I ought to add up, but I didn't. So anyway, so this is what I got at Honey's. So if you ever have a chance to do a yarn crawl, a yarn quest, a shop hop, we are going to actually, I um, am going to do a um, thing. We are going to, I ordered the shop hop quilt book for all my quilting friends out there. Y'all know who you are. Um, and it's a it's of Michigan, I think, because I haven't got the magazine yet. It just came out on Monday. And the thing is, is that um, it's all the different quilting places. And there is a shop hop up in the UP. So um, up north, so Mr. Jerry's already planning on, I think it was in June. So he's planning a... a either a two night or a three night stay um, up there so we can hit the different shops and do a quilting shop hop. So, but anyways, I just had so much fun with all of this and yep, I got a lot of knitting to do, but I've got time and oh, and Henny, they are going to be starting up in May every Friday at 10 a.m. She invited me. They are actually going to do a crochet along to teach you on how to do this. So this will definitely be probably the next one after I get that sweater done that I will start to do. Um, I might do, yep, she's got um, 16 stitches, stitches open wave pattern equals 4 inches. So I'm assuming... At that open wave as I keep talking to you is this right here so I have to do a gauge swatch 
But anyways, I'm going to let you go. This was going to be a longer one, and um, I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that you guys are enjoying whatever crafts you're doing, and um, thanks again. I really, really enjoy having you along on this journey, um, on my weight loss journey, on being able to share my crafts with you, being able to share my retirement life with you. I really appreciate all the friendships that are forming and you guys make it the best for me to keep strong and to keep doing, especially on the days when I get a pop-up thing that says, hey, let's go out for lunch. So I can figure out the rest of the day. I know what I can do. I know how much things are at that restaurant in my mind um, because it's not... I just take it from Weight Watchers and do the best I can. So, you know, as far as a taco salad, because I always get a small taco salad. I used to get a large, used to get chips with it and everything. And now we get chips, they automatically serve it to you. But I usually only eat maybe two or three of the chips and then the small salad. And that's a win-win for me, so... But anyways, I'll let you go. You all have a great day. Enjoy your um, Tuesday. No. Enjoy your Wednesday. <laughs> Anybody else do that? Oh, my Lanta. And thanks again. And um, I can tell that the bread is high enough that it can go into the oven. It's now about this much above the lip of it. Before, it wasn't even up to the lip, so it just needed extra time. So um, instead of 45 minutes, I had to go 20, 20 more minutes. So. so thanks again, my friends, and I will see you all. Hopefully, I'll remember to show you what is for supper. And um, I will take a picture of our lunch, too. So talk to you later. <laughs>